What is going on guys? Wiser here bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0. As you can see it was against this Asian clan level 8 and 2.0 laid the smack down that's for sure. Uh, they had uh, Town Hall 10 advantage by 3. We had 7. They had 10. Uh, we'll just quickly scroll through. They used most of their attacks. I think they kind of gave up at the end though. A few 1 stars on the 10s. Uh, they missed quite a few of the 9s. I believe most of their 3 stars on the 9s came from bully attacks. A uh, few of them were not. A few of them were legit. Town Hall 9 on Town Hall 9, 3 stars. But as you can see, they really struggled. Mostly 2 stars down the board. And this is actually going to be a bit of a lengthy video because even no matter what these guys did, they weren't going to keep up with our Town Hall 10 beasts. So let's check out what they did. 2 stars, or what we did, I should say. 2 stars, 2 stars, 2 stars, and let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. He has 5 Town Hall 10 3 stars I have to show you. So I want to try and keep this video as quick as possible because there's about 6 or 7 replays I want to get in here. So we'll kind of scroll down to the end. As you can see, board was cleared except for 29. Dingus had a bit of a heartbreaker, 94%. Sometimes that's the way it goes though. So great job 2.0. Good bounce back with this war. Just crushed these guys. Uh, showed them what's up. So let's uh, jump right into this. My man Don Leon bringing the heat. So we had a bit of a theme in the last Town Hall 10 three-star video I showed. And the three major components I was talking about are defensive Archer Queen, Clan Castle Troops, and Air Defenses. If you can manage to do what Don does here, and I know it's not possible, level 40 heroes make a big difference, but notice his queen takes out the defensive queen, takes out the air defense, her job's done. He doesn't care what happens to her. King in there with the jump spell. All he wants him to do is get to this air defense, which he is about to lock onto, and boom, air defense goes down, so he's going to start his attack. He's got one, two, three, four Lava Hounds in on the remaining two air defense. Got, I think, 28 balloons, five haste, a rage, and a freeze. So he's got the horseshoe of haste just pushing everything into the core, and as it gets close, he drops the freeze over top the crossbow and the... Um, Inferno Tower, he's got the Rage down, pushing all these balloons right in and down through this core. I think at this point he still has at least two Lava Hounds alive. One is going to bust. Yeah, there it goes. Sorry, he had three because right now I'm pretty sure he still has two Lava Hounds uh, alive. Um, this Wizard Tower gives him a little bit of trouble because as you can see this huge clump of balloons is about to get into range and he does lose quite a few here uh probably was a scary moment but doesn't really matter because he ends up pushing right through this as you can see loses probably six seven balloons in fact one more hit from that wizard tower and it might have prevented the three star that archer tower gets one last shot off on the lava hound and bursts it at the exact right moment it's clean up from here dawn just killed it thanks for uh really uh really being able to illustrate what my point was okay so this whole video we're thinking of archer queen clan castle troops air defenses all right moving on some of these some of these attacks don't illustrate that and i'll kind of point that out when we get there but knx the man going in on number six he's gonna be doing the same kind of thing i think he comes in yep there goes the jump spell He's going to drop both of his heroes, sends the king in, king gets locked right onto that defensive archer queen, air defense goes down, this queen's in there to do a little bit of backup, takes out the, uh, the sweeper which is a nice piece to this as well. And what I like here, he still has the queen's ability but he's smart enough to realize their job's done, he just lets the queen die. Smartest move ever because if that lava hound bursts, all this air attack is in serious trouble. So he just lets it die and then those CC troops sit, sit there. So as you can see, haste moving everything in. This huge clump of balloons over top that core. He's got one more haste. I believe he drops it around this back. There it is. Last haste is down. Just continuing to push everything around in this circle. Really the only things left. Finally that Inferno Tower goes down. It was doing serious work. Those two Teslas go down. It's pretty much clean up from this time. In fact, it for sure is clean up. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's probably got 15 balloons left over. So looking good. K and X, the beast. Three stars on the Town Hall 10. Good job, man. All right. So this is a bit different style of attack. It's not an air attack. Uh, kind of a horrid base. If any of my friends who are Town Hall 10, if your base ever looks like this, I'm going to smack you. Uh, I have no idea what these... I have no idea 
what these walls are for, but <laughs> we'll see. So Matt just goes ahead and pulls out the CC. He does a little bit of an archer trick. What I like about this, watch this poison. I didn't think this was possible. If the balloon is continuing to move, I thought it was going to be in and out before it died. And then that archer trick was going to going to be a fail, but I guess not. Max poison, max poison, and the balloon is dead before it even gets out the other side. So healer trick's good. He sends in a shattered entry down here. The goal of this little kill squad is to take out, guess what? Defensive queen, C, uh, air defenses, CC troops are already taken care of via the archer trick. Beautiful job. The shattered entry gets in there. He drops the king in. King's going to lock onto that queen in three seconds, two one there he goes he's going right for her. doesn't matter that archer queen takes her down anyways one air defense down this air defense is about to go down and he still has three lava hounds and 15 balloons left to go sorry i got a i got a dual commentator with me for this one so you might <laughs> might have a few extra words in there um Queen's still doing work. She ends up taking down the town hall, which is nice. But her job's done, and he ends up sending these three Lava Hounds and 15 Balloons on these last two air defense. Four Haste, Rage, Freeze. Haste, Haste, Haste. He's going to push everything into this core. There's really only one Inferno Tower uh, left to worry about. One of the Hounds, a couple of the Hounds burst. So they're starting to do cleanup as these Loons move in. Doesn't have too, too many loons. He's got three more in the bag. I think he sends on this back end for these archer towers. Look at that. Look at the value on that freeze, though. Three Teslas and an Inferno on that one freeze. And then it just comes unfrozen right when the balloons get over top of it. So, boom. Oh, that mine takes out one, but it's not quite enough. He's got pups in there now. Still has a Lava Hound unburst. Really, there's only this archer tower, mortar, and cannon left. Another archer tower, sorry, right there. Another cannon, but it doesn't matter. It's clean up. This whole top of the base is completely wrecked. Good job, Maddie. Way to just destroy this one. Fast forward. Take a look at this up here, too. Look at that. Archer trick still going. Beautiful job, Maddie. Nice three star, bud. <clears throat> All right. Number nine. Maddie again with the six star war. Very impressive feat to get six star war when you're facing Town Hall 10s. That's something that I couldn't imagine doing. I struggle getting six star wars as Town Hall 9. So, so he's going to go in. This is a little bit different style. He's got this mass golem. Really, I think he was just going for the two here, and it just kind of turns out into a three. So, sorry about that. So, he's uh, got one, two, three, four, I think seven golems in there. About 15 wizards just backing everything up. He drops the queen down. Uh, this king locks on. And the queen's going to take it down real fast. Drops two more jump spells to let everything into the core. This whole outer moat is now basically clear. A couple more buildings got to go down. Really good patience on that king. Just waits and waits and waits. King is going in behind everything. Again, he was really just going for the two. Because he doesn't even really... He's not too concerned about this queen. But this just turns into a three star because of his beastly heroes and just great placement. So freeze goes down over the core, buys a little bit more time for that uh, all those troops to do work. The uh, the archer queens slowly move behind, She's keeping her distance, which is perfect. You couldn't ask for better AI from that archer queen. This this uh, uh, raid. Still, everything's doing work. He's got a hog and two wizards for cleanup. I think he's gonna drop them in. Yeah, he drops the hogs down here and drops the wizard behind for cleanup. There it is. Great job. Yeah, we will. Just hang on. Daddy's finishing something. Sorry, guys. Uh, so, moving along. Hogs finally go down to that bomb. Still has half health on his heroes. He has burnt both abilities, but really there's only five defenses remaining for his uh, for a golem, his queen, and his king. Wizard doing cleanup on the outside. This is looking great at this point. Really, this archer queen just needs to move up. Of course she goes that way for some reason because she saw that army camp the vision of your archer queen can really just drives me insane sometimes what she decides to do when there's stuff right beside her but that's just the way of uh the ai see that king beating on that wall there when those defenses are clearly in range also makes no sense to me but queen's just going in cleaning everything up cannon goes down there's really only two buildings left maddie nice six star war man great job all right so moving on to our last Town Hall 10 three-star, 
another guy who had a six star war knx great job man uh like i was saying about maddie this is not an easy thing to do by any means any of you guys that are new to the town hall 10 three-star game don't get frustrated because this doesn't just happen overnight this happens from practicing and practicing and planning and planning and eventually it just happens right um all i can say is just focus on the things that i've been talking about and it will get easier it will it will become more of a reality for you so again let's talk about this one last time in this town hall 10 part What's he going for here? He is going for air defense, arch queen, CC troops. It's a pretty common theme, right? If you can take care of those things, especially just using your heroes and a few wall breakers, it's 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 setting you up for success. This is all I'm saying. Look at this king. He's just gonna beat through this lava wall. Boom! Right through the lava wall. Got Teslas, he's got crossbows, everything attacking him and his barbs. They take down that queen like it's no problem. Queen's in there doing a little bit more work. But again, their job's done. CC's pulled out. You know, the air defense is down, the queen is down. He just lets this queen die. He did use the ability this time, so he sends in, boom, lava hounds, lava hounds, four lava hounds, and I think it was like 30 balloons from the outside. Haste, 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 haste. Here we go. Horseshoe of Haste is going to push everything into this core here. He's going to have a freeze for that little section with a crossbow and Inferno. And then he's going to rage right over this. So you can get from this Inferno to that Inferno without any problems whatsoever. Crossbow goes down. Inferno's about to go down. Second Inferno. He drops another freeze back there, which is great. Gave his balloons just enough time to get in there and take it down. Sweeper's down. He's only got a few more defenses in, in this 12 o'clock position. So looking great. Something to keep in mind. Uh, as a defensive Town Hall 10, having the Lava Hound and Balloon in there isn't always the greatest choice. Because if done properly, they didn't really do anything this entire raid. So uh, I know CC Troops comps are a huge discussion because really with the Poison Spell being so good... A lot of different combinations just become null and void so really what do you put in your clan castle but you know all of these all of these seem to have uh hounds and, and loons so it was just really easy to react to so i think an important thing to know when you're setting up your clan castles for wars there needs to be some diversity in there like you can't just stack all your town hall tens with a hound and a loon because it if you just if you realize that as the opposing clan it's really easy it makes it really easy for you to react to that and plan for it so um with that being said i also want to carry these principles down the chain to town hall nine because it literally is the same thing guys it, it's a little bit i shouldn't say the same thing but it's the same idea it's the same principles right so i wanted to show Dirty's attack. I don't know why I had 13 written down because it definitely wasn't 13. There it is, 16. That's what I meant. So Dirty's really good at bringing your standard shattered or stoned Lalo. He's been really that's been his favorite attack for a while here. So I just want to point out the exact same principles for a Town Hall 9. And this doesn't matter if you're a Town Hall 10 attacking Town Hall 9 or a Town Hall 9 attacking Town Hall 9 or anything. It's the same principles. He's bringing in a shattered entry with two golems. He's going to, I don't know if he just jumps right over this. No, he, he breaks it open. He's going to open this up and then he's going to jump in here. Oh yeah, because he's got to get that jump to get both of these. So what is he taking care of with this? He is taking care of the defensive queen, the CC troops, and air defenses. <laughs> the same theme, guys. If you're going to Lalo, that's what your focus needs to be. How cheap can you kill those three components and then use the rest for an air attack? So he's still got three hounds. 14 balloons you know his max is level 28 level 30 heroes help a lot here um, queen takes down one of the air defenses the king and barbs are all in this chamber they're about to take that second air defense down boom mission complete so guess what sends in three lava hounds horseshoe of balloons he doesn't quite bring the haste because he doesn't you know as a town hall nine you don't get the extra spells but he brings one rage great placement over the crossbow and the air defense it's going to push everything right on top of this air d that hound soaked up a ton of traps there he still has six balloons and a hound so he sends in this other hound 
perfect timing on that. Maybe just a second too late because the air defense does take a couple balloons before the hound gets there. But it doesn't matter. That rage is just going to push everything down. All he really has to worry about is this bottom section of base. Drops a loon on this backside to take care of that cannon. Clean up wizard up top. Things are looking absolutely fantastic at this point. So that's it. Dirty. Just killing it with these Lalos, man. Must be taking lessons from Mal or something. Last defense is down. Cleanup time. Great job, Dirty. So guys, I can't express this more of, of these principles. you got to address the Archer Queen, the defensive Archer Queen. She is the highest damage outputting defense, quote-unquote, that's going to be on the map. She has to get addressed. It doesn't matter what type of attack you're bringing. That has to be addressed. On top of it, the Clan Castle troops. I mean, it's a little bit less of a concern with poison now. However, that still also needs to be addressed. And then depending on what you're bringing for your back end, whether it's an air attack or hogs, that will change up what your third component is. If it's air attack, you want air defense. Makes sense. If it's hogs, then you just, instead of getting air defense, you get bombs. If you can get a couple, if you can get a double giant bomb set and the queen and the CC troops, your hog attack's looking great. So... The same ideas here, guys. It, it, it really trickles down through every, every attack. So I uh, did have one more nine I'm going to show you. This video is already getting uh, fairly lengthy as is. Uh, Ivan actually had a really nice queen walk on this one. And I want to show you how the same principles somewhat apply here. So I'm pretty sure this was a cleanup. I can't necessarily say it for sure. Um, not the greatest bomb locations, but Ivan Ivan just, just kills this. So I like this little giant out in front, and then the healer's on the giant. Giant's taking heat from all this stuff. Queen's going to clear this out. Drops two wizards to really get a nice funnel. He does not want his queen walking up. This way he wants her walking counterclock, or wants her walking clockwise, I should say. What I was worried about was the healers are on this giant, and he starts wandering over here. But as soon as that mortar goes down, he gets up to full health. As soon as that queen takes damage, boom, the healers shift over to the archer queen and start following her. Now, he does lose one to the air defense here, so that is unfortunate, but it really doesn't matter at this point. He, he got the push he wanted to. These wizards and stuff are just going to kind of hang out here and beat on these walls for a bit. Uh, he sent in his shattered portion. He's creating his funnel on the other side. Drops that king a little early. Start clearing out some of these trash buildings. Opens up the wall. Golems end up rerouting into this little compartment here. And he's going to drop a jump spell over top of that elixir storage to get at that queen. So king takes a bit of a walk there, but queen finishes off that uh, gold mine for him. Nowhere else for that king to go. Look at that funnel that queen walk is now created. King goes right in, locks onto that queen. Defensive queen is now taken care of. CC troops are in the process of being taken care of. Dragon goes down, loons go down. So hey, interesting. CC troops, defensive queen, they're addressed. Bomb got triggered in that entry. He knows, I'm pretty sure, there are four singles in this base. So he starts sprinkling his hogs in from the outside. He gets one heal down because he knows that bomb is there. Heals him right up. He's got one more heal for the one more bomb. And it is down in this location here. So he is going to drop that heal over top that Tesla's and that bomb that gets great value out of that heal. I think the heal goes down right about now. Any second he's dropping this heal, I swear. Create patience on that. I would have dropped it earlier. Just because I'm, uh, I'm a scaredy cat like that. But boom, bomb goes off. They're standing in heels. It doesn't matter. That was pretty much the last defense other than this sweeper. Drops the poison on the skellies. Didn't even really need to. Had the swag poison there. Ivan just crushed his base. So that gives you guys a bit of an idea of, of how the fundamentals work, even though it's a completely different style of attack. Okay, That's not your Lalo. That's a queen walk with hawks, but he still addressed the same issues. The archer queen, the CC troops, and the bomb locations, right? He had a plan for every piece of that, that part of the raid. So therefore, he's successful. And really, sorry, I don't know if you can see behind the overlay here. I'm pretty sure the fourth bomb was down in this section. So that archer queen eliminated all those defenses. There's no reason for anything to path in there anymore. So... Guys, the same fundamentals. Focus on taking care of the Archer Queen, taking care of the CC troops for the minimal value you can get, you can do that with, and then backing it up with either a Laloon 
or a hog attack and depending on which one you decide to do is uh, it, it makes your your third focus of your kill squad either the air defense or bomb locations and you're going to start having success and like i said about the tens even with nines too i mean a lot of our nines still struggle a lot we miss it doesn't always work things don't always go how you plan however you do start seeing successes. You will start getting a six star war against bases you never even imagined. I remember when I first started, you know, really watching these three star videos and trying these attacks, it was frustrating. I probably did a dozen attacks before I finally had a successful one. And that's not against max Town Hall 9 bases, that's just against Town Hall 9 you know farming wars so it takes a while guys but practice those fundamentals and i promise you you will have some su uh, some success so 2.0 fantastic job way to bounce back and just absolutely crush these guys uh i think that about does it for your uh, wisdom from wiser here just trying to help you guys bag that next three star until then i am out